primary purpose of this video is to provide tips on how to use the iPad video player. Okay, I know what you're thinking. How silly is this when we've already asked you to watch two videos without providing any instructions? Allow me to explain. The screen size on the introduction videos didn't really matter. However, all of the remaining training videos are formatted to play at a specific size so that they will look identical to the giraffe instrument screen. I will now demonstrate how to get the correct screen size and also provide a few tips on how the iPad video player works. Please follow along with the written instructions that are in Section 7 of your manual. Step 1. Hold the iPad in the landscape position like this so that it is wider than it is tall. Step 2. Locate the Purdue University Project website as shown in Section 1 of your manual. Scroll down to the section on the website that contains the desired video. All videos are located in gold text on the right hand side. Tap on the name of the video. Step 3. A new web page will load that contains the video. Scroll down to the bottom of the page. Step 4. Tap the red play button in the middle of the video. It may take a minute to start playing. Step 5. Tap the pause button that appears for just a few seconds over the bottom left corner of the video. If it disappears like it just did on me, then just tap the middle of the video and it will come back. Step 6. Tap the arrows in the bottom right corner of the video. Okay, this is going to look a little different just because I have to use the video camera to record this portion. I have my pages here and I'm following right along. Step 7. Tap these arrows in the top right corner just below the battery indicator. This stretches the video to the correct width and removes the black borders on the sides. This slider bar will be used to adjust the volume. Step 8. Tap the play button at the bottom center of the screen to start the video. Step 9. All of the training videos will start playing this short clip including the music. Step 10. Notice the video player controls actually cover part of the video. Tap the middle of the screen to immediately hide these or just wait a few seconds and they will disappear on their own. Step 11. Tap the middle of the screen at any point to get the video control players back. Step 12. Let me tap the pause button to tell you more about the controls. These buttons on either side of the play button are used to go to the start or the end of the video. The sliding bar at the top is known as the progress bar. The 44 seconds on the left side indicates how much of the video has already played. The 1 minute and 31 seconds on the right side shows the time remaining. Move the white circle on the sliding bar to rewind or fast forward the video. It took me a little while to figure this out. But notice when you press and hold the circle, there's a message at the top of the screen in small print that says, slide your finger down to adjust the scrubbing rate. Beneath that, it says, high speed scrubbing. This is how it works. Right now, it is in high speed mode. So if I slide my finger to the right, it fast forwards through the video. By fast, I mean really fast. If I slide my finger to the left, the result will be high speed rewind. If you find this difficult to control, all you need to do is drag your finger down to the middle of the screen before moving to the right or the left. The text at the top will change from high speed scrubbing to half speed scrubbing and finally to fine scrubbing. Fine scrubbing is much more user friendly and allows me to easily locate the exact part of the video I want to watch. When the video stops, tap the done button in the top left corner to get back to the Purdue website. <laughs>